I'm with Sam Bird, the head coach of Turnford Under-13s. A loss against Paul Netball Club 30-24, which meant you're not the champions now of the Southern ENG Youth Netball Premier League. But it was a great contest, a game you, you, you desire, that type of level you desire as a, as a coach. Um, just give us an insight into how you felt the game went and potentially where you could, could improve if you played them again next time. Yeah, so uh, a really good game, some very talented under-13s on the court. Um, as you say, probably some of the best in the country. So really good, first of all, to just see that level of contest at under-13 yeah. level um, and that, that sort of desire by both, both, both teams to win. Um, from our point, I think we were just a little bit too respectful of Paul in the first quarter and went down um, by the biggest margin in the first quarter yeah. and then we drew... Um, and one another quarter, I think. So the, the, the rest of the game was even yeah. and Stephen. So I think for us that would be about um, the girls will go back and watch it. Uh, they, they know now that they can take on this team and beat them. Yeah. Um, we also feel like we've got growth, and I'm sure they do. So if, if both lots of teams keep growing, I think we can have some really good contests going forward. When you say um, too respectful, um, it, 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 um, nervous, um, kind of wasn't up for the challenge in the first quarter or, or wasn't expecting that, that type of intensity? Because you must have talked to him about how, how, how yeah, hard it was going to be. I, I don't think it was nerves. I think it was just um, um, we've played them twice before. I think we've beaten them once when we were very young. Yeah. But in the recent history, we haven't beaten them. And I think that um, maybe that little bit of trust amongst the players wasn't there. But I, I really thought that grew through the game. And the yeah, girls were really positive at the end of it about, yeah. you know, they would like to play them again now. Um, so they're really up for playing them again. And yeah. um, it's just really good to see that level of talent, really. We're, both Paul and I, our team, have really big wins a lot of the time. Yeah. So it's really valuable to play these tight, tight matches. This, this league has served up some good, great games for you as a coach. How, how good has this league been to help develop your team? Because like you said, in, in your local areas or counties, you, know, you have big wins. How healthy is it for the girls to kind of have this level of competition? Yeah, it's, it's really good. I mean, the facilities are good. They're playing indoors for a start. Um, it's good for them to play different teams. Uh, when you're in your local league, you tend to play the same teams over and over. So our girls have really enjoyed playing teams from you know, Birmingham and Poole and from all over the, yeah. the southern area. So that just makes life a bit more interesting. And it just challenges them in a different way. And it's meant that um, we play in a league on a Tuesday night and a Thursday night, but the Sunday and Gina, well, they've really enjoyed um, coming together and competing in this competition. Grand finals, um, you know, like I said in the, um, in, the, in the presentation, I talked about this as the battle, but it's not the war. Are you quite confident that if you were to meet Paul again, that you could potentially beat him? Yeah, yeah, I think we could have another great game against them. And um, I think we know what they've got now. Um, we've still got um, players developing. I think Paul has been pretty much similar sort of team for a long time now and they train a lot together uh, the girls we've got are now entering into pathways um, both at London Pulse and Mavericks so they're getting that level of yeah. training and competition that might not be ava available necessarily in pool so uh, it'll be very interesting to see over the next couple of years how these girls push on and uh, one, one last thing because I, I know you're a very high standard coach and you, and you, you, you coach uh, a Super League team and you're, you're, you're involved with England Netball as a selector as well um, if you could go back and do something different to change the outcome of the next game, is there something you can change within the team to do that? I think it's just um, trust and confidence amongst the players. So uh, to let the ball go, trust that they can win ball. And um, I'm really pleased they all enjoyed the game. But I think um, just a little bit more belief, really, that they can do it. And I think this game has given them that belief for the next one. Well, we cannot wait if it materialises again. But you're up against the Northern teams in the quarterfinals of the, um, of the grand finals. So we cannot wait for that, Sam. It'd be great to see um, you pitting your wits against the coaches up and down the country. But um, thank you so much um, for bringing your team to this league because you know, just bringing the, this level of talent into this company is, is what makes this company what it is. So thank you so much. Your girls have been incredible and we look forward to seeing you again in the national finals.